So in this next tutorial we're going to look at how we can use HDR Light Studio as a tool to quickly light our car in a studio setting and it's a much quicker way to do it than it is doing placing lights manually like in the previous tutorials but uh, we can show you how this works and how we can set it up so what we want to do is uh, go to our default environment and we have this selected and then we can go to HDR Light Studio and then we can go to edit and load settings and what that'll do is open up our HDRI Light Studio window and then we can see here that we have our default gradient background light and first of all we don't need this so what we can do is just delete it and that'll make everything black and what we can do now is pick a let's try and move this out of the way so you can see the car at the same time we can pick a, a gradient light and then you can see that this will now appear in the HDRI so you can see there's our gradient light that's been placed and that's now reflecting onto the car so what we can do is we can back into our camera and we can go to our materials and what we'll do is just set this to invisible so yeah, turn visibility for the sphere off and we'll perhaps drop this exposure down to one and then what we can do is play around with these settings here so maybe it's better if we move it over here what we want to achieve is something similar like we already made so I'm just going to turn off our denoiser and then we can go into our light settings which we have here and first you, you know you can play around with a gradient or you can or you can actually rotate it so for now I'm just going to rotate it and that'll be 180 degrees so our gradient is more at the top and then we can sort of fine-tune our gradient to get something similar so we'd maybe make it a bit wider and a little bit thinner and already you can see how quickly we've got a light that looks something you know that took quite a bit of time trial and error to place and actually if we go to our uh, materials and we go back to our HR light studio and we can move this up here for ease of use um, we can find here that it has, has a light paint option if you turn this on you can now shift click anywhere inside your scene to place a light and this one will do a rim painting so now you can see sort of on the on the rim of the car this nice light or we can change this to a reflection painting and then we can pick where we want on the car our gradient to go which you know is fantastic it's, it's really easy to use and of course we can move it around the front of the car something like that and look you already have a really really nice reflection and you know you can just build up over time with uh, some different variations of light so maybe we can make our rim light now so what I'll do is add a round light and then just over here select rim painting and then just click on the back of the car and already see we have sort of a nice rim light going there so maybe we can increase the height and the width a little bit maybe too much so 25 25 and there we have a nice sort of rim light going across the car and again we can make another gradient light and head back to reflection painting and then maybe just try and get a nice shape reflection on the front here so you know we can always bring down the bring down the height and of course to get that nice gradient on the right side we will, can rotate it 180 degrees And you know you can see already that this is starting to look pretty nice and so we can go ahead and then add our a light to light up the front so we can go to illumination painting and then we can just click on the front of the car maybe boost up the brightness a little bit 300 or even more try 600 and then just try and find an area where we can place this and I think maybe we can get up to 25 and 25 and maybe even even higher so we have some light in the front of the car perhaps light up the back so again we can we can actually duplicate this light and then quickly yeah, pe place something along the side here and what I'll do is I'll there's an option to make it a half so you can cut the light in half 
just so you get a sort of nice sharper line and maybe we can increase the width a little bit and bring the height down so we have something like this and of course you can still use standard uh, standard V-Red lights you know just in case you need to add you know a couple of spots here and there so we can also try and maybe light up the wheels but this this one I find is always a bit tricky and I prefer to use normal lights but you know you have a good idea and you know what perhaps we can add just a bit more light on the side of the car here and just you know, dial in the size of the light and, and things like this so you know we can get um, a really nice result very fast and maybe we can bring out the width all the way and you know it's just trying to find a sort of area on the car that can, can give you a nice reflection so this one's not looking good so we can just delete it and then maybe we can just brighten up our original light to say something like 400 and then perhaps we can move it up a little bit so there's a bit more light on the car something like this and you know for five minutes it's already looking pretty good and you know you can always refine it further and once you've done that you can just render out your HDRI so you know it has orientation as thread already you can leave it like that and you can choose your size so what I'll just do is uh, give it a width of say 8192 make it 8k format we can have HDR and then just leave everything as default and then we can just save it as you know, studio test HDR and then can I press render and then when that's, once that's rendered out you'll now have a high resolution HDRI in your scene so maybe we can add in our ground plane and we can perhaps hide our shadow plane something like this and yeah of course you can play around with the camera settings maybe give it a nice blue tint again and then we can play around with the exposure value, make it boost it a little bit. Say 1.5, maybe go a little bit more, a two. And then you can play with around with your filmic settings or whatever tone mapping you're using. You can add contrast in there, but I usually prefer to leave that with the tone mapping or just add it in post and just move our floor up. And one, yeah, one thing you have to make sure is um, to turn off light painting if you want to select something in the scene, as that will then uh, change your HDRI. And now you can see our reflection has gone. So if we go back into HDR Light Studio, we could just undo. And then you see I'll get our reflection there. But that will actually then replace again the HDRI that we rendered out. So just be careful there. And yeah, we can move our ground up car sit a little better and of course then we can play around with our camera settings and you know make it a little bit more interesting but I think what we have now is pretty good so we can leave it like that and yeah as I said uh, HDRI Light Studio or HDR Light Studio is a very very useful tool and um, there's a lot more depth that you can go into especially with creating light looks so you know you could set up different uh, studio lighting and then you know you could sit down for example with a client or yourself and decide which one you like best so I hope that's a good uh, taster of what you can get from HDRI Light Studio so we'll see you in the next one